From the NBC26 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. More snow is on the way as we wrap up February, but not a lot of cold. Here's a look at the last seven days of February. You can see high temperatures are going to be pretty close to normal. The normal high is now 30, and I'm calling for upper 20s to mid 30s the next seven days. Right now, we are looking at lower to mid 20s across northeast Wisconsin. 22 in Kiwani. We've also got 22 in Chilton. It's 22 in Oshkosh. And yeah, there's a 22 in Oconto as well. The time lapse from today shows lots of clouds across the area. These were lake effect clouds rolling in off of Lake Michigan. And at times, the clouds were producing a little bit of light snow or a few flurries. And that continues this evening here on NBC 26 Precision Radar. That east to northeast wind produced Producing just a couple of flakes from time to time. The satellite picture this evening shows the main storm is still off to the south and west here across eastern Kansas. It is moving in our general direction, however, and you can see what is also headed our way. A big mess. We've got winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings all over the place. This is a huge storm that has had a high impact throughout the day, especially across Iowa, Missouri, Nebraska, and Kansas. Some spots will end up with around two feet of snow when all is said and done. Now, as we go underneath the clouds and take a look at the radar, you can see snow is now flying across Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, Nebraska, and Kansas, and it is steadily pushing to the north and east. Precision cast starting at midnight shows that snow just coming into the extreme southwestern part of the NBC 26 viewing area. By 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, it'll be snowing just about everywhere, and that snow will continue throughout the day. We're we're going to end up with four to seven inches. Right now, it looks like the highest totals from this system will be close to Lake Michigan, where we're going to see a little bit of lake enhancement, kind of like what we saw today, except the totals will be a little bit more impressive <laughs> than what we saw today. So far this month, it's been snowing a lot. In fact, we have had snow 18 of the first 21 days. We are now at 11 and a half inches for the month of February. Nowhere near the top five snowiest Februarys on record, but but <laughs> if you add in tomorrow's snow and what could be coming on Monday night and Tuesday, we could possibly crack that top five. We'll just have to wait and see. Your forecast for tonight calls for clouds and flurries early, snow developing late, temperatures holding steady in the lower 20s. Tomorrow, snowy and windy. Highs will be in the upper 20s. Upper 20s on Saturday, light snow and flurries lingering. It's going to be breezy. High pressure on Sunday will give us some sunshine. Here comes that next system. Right now it looks like Monday evening, Monday night into Tuesday. The threat is there once again for a significant snowfall. It's not set in stone. The models are kind of all over the place with it right now, but it does bear watching. And then after that, it looks like on and off chances for light snow and flurries, especially near Lake Michigan. As we wrap up the month, high temperatures will be in the lower to mid 30. So it's been a snowy month and mm -hmm. every day on that forecast, Stacey has snow except for Sunday. Yeah, isn't that something? And I'm sure it, there'll be a snowflake somewhere on Sunday. Yeah, I really don't know what else to say about yeah, I it. I mean, we're talking about snow pretty much every day. It's winter. Yes, yeah, still ahead on NBC26, feeding a